Hello everyone, Dr. Victoria Skirbo here, speaking to you from the Siege of Transformation Healing Center in Wareham, Massachusetts. Um, today we're going to do a taroscope for the sign of cancer um, for July 2021. Of course, um, cancer is one of the signs that the sun is in, in July, and there's a lot of activity going on, um, especially uh, in the beginning of July. We have the sun in Cancer in July, and we have Mercury moving into Cancer on the 11th. Okay, so uh, we're going to be taking a look at it. First thing we're going to do is we're going to pull some Oracle cards, and I've chosen uh, for Cancer the Guidance, the Goddess Guidance Oracle cards. Um, this, these are the cards by Doreen Virtue, who I totally do not agree with what she's doing now, but. Uh, these are some of my favorite of her cards. I, I do like her, uh, her, her Oracle cards. So let's see, we're going to pick three and because that's what I've been doing with the rest of the signs. And so let's see the Oracle cards. What advice do the goddesses have for the sign of cancer in July? Oops, one popped out. Freya. Unleash your adventurous side. Take risks and be daring. Freya. She is the Norse goddess of love. The, the uh, day Friday. Friday is named after Freya. She's very sensual. She was, um, she had a, um, a chariot that was uh, pulled by cats, I believe. And that's why we have the cat there. So there's a lot of cat energy here. We see rainbows behind her. These are such beautiful cards. One of the reasons why I love her cards is the artwork is just so amazing. She has so many great artists. Artemis, which is guardian. Now, of course, Artemis was the goddess of the moon and cancers are ruled by the moon. You and your loved ones are safe and spiritually protected. So we have bold action and spiritual protection during that period. It's going to be interesting to see what the cards show. I am a Cancer, so I'm interested to know what comes up as well. And um, my birthday is July 3rd. And two of the most powerful things that are happening in July are happening on the 1st and the 3rd of July. So I am smack dab in the middle of the action okay last one uh i love this card it's one of my favorites dana the high priestess you have divine knowledge that can help others through your spiritual teaching well, if that's an answer for me um <laughs> if that's for me good thing i'm starting these tower scopes this month this was actually a suggestion by my friend Marianne from Revealing Light. And I've always been intrigued by deduced horoscopes, but I didn't want to step on anybody's toes. But she suggested that I do them, so I'm doing them. And uh, so far, they're a lot of fun, although they are a lot of work. I'll give, I'll give her that. Um, okay, so we have bold action. Through that bold action, we, you, you, are, you are guided and protected because you have something, the high priestess, you have something to share that the world needs to hear now. And we can see she has this, this world, right? It's like, a, actually, is it a world? Yeah, I think it's the earth, right? But it's right over her, her throat, right? And it almost looks like a piece of lapis over her throat. So your words, you need to say, you need to speak, you need to have your words heard. Cancers, Cancer Rising, and Cancer Moons. My husband is a Cancer Rising, so this is for him as well. So I am using the Tower of Transformation. The, ta it looks, the back looks like this. These are the cards. Um, I've had this deck for a long time. The only other person I've ever seen use this deck, actually. Well, no, no, no. I've seen Mary. I think Marianne has this deck and Ona. Ona. Two of my buds. Hi, Ona. <laughs> Oops. High Priestess jumps out. 
We'll start with that. We'll start with that. That's the high priestess. So the immediate environment is the high priestess. I love this high priestess card because we can see that she is lifting a veil. She is lifting the veil. The veil is being lifted. And she actually has the zodiac signs. You see all the zodiac signs around that? This is one of my favorite, favoritest, favoritest cards in this deck. The High Priestess. She has the universe right in her womb. And she is raising, she is, she is, uh, the veils are being raised. The veils of illusion. The veils that that keep us from our own magnificence, from realizing our own spiritual connections. The veil is being lifted. Let's what, see what challenge is that. Passionate play, the teacher of discs. This I feel like there's a lot of sexual energy with this card. And there is this sort of, you know, the raising of the veil, right, is a, is a spiritual energy. And yet the fact that we're living on planet Earth and have bodies, uh, how do we access the 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 gloriousness of the veil being raised in our own physical bodies i think that this is a challenge for us to play actually to be joyful to do what it is that you do and enjoy it it there are things that are happening there are things that are going to be happening some of it you have no control over and so you just sort of have to um, bear witness to it, but you have the opportunity to still find the time to play. We have underneath it skillful perseverance. This is the eight of pentacles or the eight of discs. We have a, a beautiful stag here. I don't know if you guys remember um, it was last year, I think, a beautiful stag came through the yard um, and it was magnificent. It was enormous. And then like, and I told you guys about it, and then a day later, another one came through and I was able to videotape it. So this is stamina. This is, you know, pacing yourself, pacing yourself. So it's important to make sure you're taking care of your physical body, to pace yourself to watch your money, right? Uh, in the in the top deck, this is the prudence card. So you have to be prudent and yet you still have to play. So so there needs to be a balance between this very high, higher spiritual vibrational stuff and a need to take care of your physical body and to also be able to remember to have fun. We have uh, exploring the inner landscape as the, uh, the past card. This is the teacher of cups. If there's one thing cancers know how to do, it's explore the inner landscape. Sometimes we're so busy exploring the inner landscape that we forget that there's a landscape outside, right? Sometimes it's really hard to get out of our own like minds and our own emotions and our own feelings and our own um, machinations. Um, you know, we got to peek our head out. <laughs> so in the sky, we have opening to angels. This is the seven of wands in this deck. This is about all of your chakras opening up. So this is about becoming fully enlightened, fully enlightened through all of your chakras, the higher chakras that connect us to spirit and the lower chakras that connect us to earth. They all have to, we have opportunity to, to open them all up. Let your light shine. The immediate future is the non-self. Don't take anything personally. Cancer. This is not a personal affront in any way to you. 
You need to let the light shine through you without judgment, without judgment. Let the light shine in all the beautiful colors that it will shine. As I'm doing this, there's a little squirrel outside trying to climb up my window, which he can't really do to get at the bird feeder. <laughs> uh, how it's seen from the outside. And not everybody is going to agree with you. Not everyone is going to agree with you. You've got to be okay with that. This isn't about people pleasing. This is about standing in your power. Domestic situation. Things are moving. You're on your path. Change. Things will change in your domestic situation. You could be moving. You could be moving on. Or something in your domestic situation could be moving on. But in this in, in this deck especially, usually the, the chariot card, like in the Rider Waite deck, the guy's not holding anything in his hands, right? He's not holding the, the he's not directing. Um, oh my God, there's a giant squirrel trying to get at the feeder now. It's a big one. Oh my God, he just jumped onto the feeder. Oh my God, these guys are so funny. What they won't do for a nut. I'm getting distracted. Stop it. Um, yeah, so things are moving on in your domestic situation. So there's change, but it's ch it's directed change, and it's change that you've been waiting for. You've been waiting for this movement. <sighs> Hopes and fears, the master of swords. You hope you're right. You hope you're reading the web of life right. You are. You are. Outcome, the Ace of Wands, grounding for creativity. This is a 27-9 vibration in, um, in the tarot. I mean the Kabbalah. This is the birth of creativity. This is your, you are rooted. Look at that. Look at that. Look at the, the fire. Look at the fire in her belly the fire in her nether regions as she rises up completely connected to the earth. Let's see if we can get a major arcana. The two of wands, healing sexual energy. This is an opportunity uh, as you connect with the earth and you connect with your body. You could even maybe run a bit of a fever. So if you're running hot, uh, don't assume that you're sick. Of course, if you feel sick, go to the, do go to the doctor. But it could just be this, this, this transformational energy sort of running through your body. We have the devil here. So things that hold us in the darkness will come up to try to dissuade us. The devil wants to say, you don't have to do that. You don't have, just come here and have a, have a little cake, have a drink, have, you know, just, just, Hang out, you know, you're, you're taking big chances out there. Just, you know, it is a, to a certain extent a challenge, but the devil knows the secret that, that there is light. And the 15-6 is about, it's a six vibration. So in a positive sense, it's about love and it's about community. And it's about keeping, um, <laughs> keeping a good sense of humor. So cancers, it's going to take a lot. It's going to take a good sense of humor to get through, through July. And luckily most cancers have a fabulous sense of humor. If I may so, so myself, uh, <clears throat> I'm pretty damn funny. And my husband is one of the funniest guys I know. So, and he has a cancer rising. So I know from once I come and once I speak. We have the Temple of the Goddess underneath it, the Master of Wands, and we have the Lover's Card, which is about choices. And then we have the Ace of Cups, which is about happiness, choosing happiness in the Temple of the Goddess. This can, normally I don't see the, the I don't always see the Lover's Card as a good sex card, but this, uh, in this deck, 
I could say this could be a really good sex card. So if you have the opportunity um, and the ability <laughs> and the proclivity, have some fun. All right, guys, I do realize that I am a cancer and I'm telling myself these things as well. So I'm not going to tell you if I take my own advice or anything, but you, you might actually see it in my aura. Um, if I do, <laughs> all right, there's that great sense of humor for cancers. All right, guys, have yourself a great month. It's going to, I was not expecting such fabulous cards, quite honestly. Um, seeing the astrological stuff that's, that's on its way. Um, but that's the whole thing. Like, um, we can't make assumptions even about the astrological stuff. Saturn opposite Mars may seem like, or like one foot on the brake and one foot on the gas, square Uranus, change, change, change. And yet that's probably exactly what we need. Go with the flow, go with the flow. It's time to come out. Oh my God. Did you hear that? A squirrel just jumped on my feeder. Get off of that, you. He just jumped on my feeder for the hummingbirds. And I think he just drained all the feeder stuff out. And I got to go make some hummingbird food. These squirrels are crazy. Crazy squirrels. All right, guys. <laughs> uh, take your opportunities, right? Isn't that what the squirrel is showing us? Even if it seems like a big leap, it's time to take a leap. I mean, that squirrel leaped from the roof onto my hummingbird feeder and then from the window onto the feeder. So take those leaps. The squirrels are saying, when you see something delicious, take a leap. <laughs> all right, guys, have yourself a great month. Much love to you all. Like and subscribe. And I will see you again next month for my Terrascope for August. Namaste. Much love.